Let's get in some opinion. The clock on the US and China trade talks is ticking away as the March 1st deadline approaches. Hear out Rob Subaraman of Nomura and what he had to say on the possible outcome and China's economy. I think with all the flurry of activity you've seen, and it has been positive vibes, I think that's the most likely outcome. And the market is, I think, pretty much priced for the, the outcome of um, come March 1, there'll be an extension. President Trump and Xi will have a meeting. Um, I think the big issue, though, Martin, is kind of what happens after that. Mm. Um, and will I think the big positive potential for markets is if the US actually starts to reduce existing tariffs. The trade uh, tensions, frictions, is only part of the story. Probably the bigger part is domestic slowdown. China needs to deleverage, mm. which is negative for growth in the short term. Mm -hmm. um, property market, we think, is turning down. The product replacement cycle had been very positive for China in the last couple of years. That's turning down. Mm. So there's a lot of synchronous, synchronous negative demand shocks hitting China.